Hello, uh, I'm Gordon Ellis from AICHE Communications, and we're here at the 2017 AICHE Annual Meeting in Minneapolis. And this morning, I'm interviewing Henry Brown. Now, Henry is an AICHE Fellow and a former director of the Institute. And going back more than 50 years, uh, Henry has been a mentor to underrepresented engineers in AICHE and the chemical engineering community. And it was back in the 1960s that Henry and some of his chemical engineering friends really started to push for AICHE to become a more open and inclusive organization, representing engineers from all areas and all experiences. Um, and most recently, the AICHE Foundation has endowed uh, the Minority Affairs Committee Scholarship Program in the name of Henry Brown. And uh, they've just announced the new Henry Brown Endowment for the Education of Underrepresented Minority Chemical Engineers. And they've begun an endowment campaign to fund those annual scholarships in perpetuity. Uh, Henry, congratulations on that honor. I'm glad you could be here today. Thank you. Um, and I hope it's going to be the honor. But we'll talk about that. Um, to begin, why, why do you think these scholarships are important now? That's, that's, that's what I brought my cheat sheet with. Uh, in September, a Yale University group authored a report of how things are and how people view them. And the first thing it says, economic equality is overestimated. And what it points out, for example, is that in the year 2000, the African American Community was the only one that had less, or in 2016, was the only one that had less than they had in 2002. Uh, and it goes on to point out that you're looking at 60% versus 100% what the, what the family makes, and that if you look at the percentage of growth. $100 for a white family, $5 basic growth in the, in the African American community. And that hasn't changed in 50 years. And the comment they made, there's an overestimation of how far we've come. Obama helped that up, and we all came out for that. But that's not what the facts say about the African American community. And scholarships like this will and are needed for bright young students to go and do engineering. Now, have, have you witnessed, well, you've been with the Institute for many years, have you witnessed changes within AICHE? Well, you know, uh, I'm going to write to Jerry LaSalle and tell him that he would have been very happy to go to the annual meeting this year as compared 50 years ago, where the only minority there was Henry Brown, no women, white, waspy, and men. Today, it looked like a perfect blend of people, you name it, they were there. The type of thing that he had wanted and was unable to do and sort of thrust it to me because of his disappointment as he retired. I was persistent, a persistent pay, I could be a, be a pain to say the least. At, continuing and getting people involved. So the idea that it's not needed now is just doesn't go with the facts of what African American community needs. Within speaking to your persistence <laughs> and your charisma in getting chemical engineers involved. I don't know how much of charisma it is, but that's today. <laughs> well Speaking to your persistence then in getting other chemical engineers involved with AICHE's Minority Affairs Committee and other outreach activities, do you have advice for the young engineers who are coming into AICHE's minority community looking to bring more people in? I think the need to communicate, to get them involved, is still important. I looked at the committee meeting I went to yesterday and I was disappointed that there weren't more new people there. Uh, they have in their minutes, for example, we needed Henry Brown to do this. Well, I used to go around 
and every face I saw knew. I introduced myself, asked them about their Moody Affairs Committee, invite them to the meeting, and most of them show. On this meeting, for example, I only asked one person. They showed up for the meeting. And that's the type of thing that I think most of the minority engineers have to recognize that they have to communicate with their fellows in order to get them involved. In, in terms of the next generation, the, the Minority Affairs Committee scholarships so far have been presented to almost 500 young people since they started. Um, and now, uh, well, under your name, they'll be, uh, they'll be given to the future I generation. I hope that's the case. Right. Uh, okay. And I hope that name will help do that. I've been very disappointed with the, with the amount of money that's come in from the Institute in the recent years. The, the amount that's given in, in dues has gone down for at least four or five years. I wasn't aware of that until I came in today. So I hope the name will help. Uh, I know some people who have, will do that, but uh, they have to know Henry Brown, right? To, to the students who will receive the scholarships, would you like to leave any advice in terms of starting their engineering careers? You know, a, being a chemical engineer, you get biased by being that. You know, I look at my career and I've gone through the oil industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and the photographic industry. And I'm convinced as I looked at the poster boards, for example, the posted downstairs, I went through and looked at uh, there was about 300, but many different areas that chemical engineers get involved with. Uh, surprisingly, a lot more than I ever thought they would be. But there were chemical engineers involved in just about everything you can think of, and I think the background of a chemical engineer allows you to do that. So obviously, I tell them that those are things that are available, and that's what I would, why I became a chemical engineer. Well, um, AICHE members and people in the chemical engineering community can support the new endowment for the Henry Brown Minority Scholarships uh, by working with the AICHE Foundation. And you can get information on that at www.aiche.org slash giving. Uh, Henry, thank you for being here and taking time to do an interview with us. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure.